Bowling bomb likes you. Clean up on aisle your ass. Hey guys, this is Invader, and welcome to my review of Femme Fatale classic shooter Ion Fury for the Xbox One. It's developed by Voidpoint and published by 3D Realms. I bought this at launch for about $30 Canadian, and it's also available on the PC, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. Let's begin with a look at the story, and I'll get this right out of the way guys, there really isn't much of one. Right at the beginning, you get an introductory cutscene introducing your character Shelly Bombshell Harrison. Some stuff happens, and you're on your way kicking bad guy butt. And throughout the game, that's the basic premise. There's a really bad guy stirring up trouble, and you hunt him down while taking on his cyborg minions and god knows what else. So then, how does the game describe itself? Well, from the Xbox Store description, it reads as follows. Shelly Bombshell Harrison takes on a quest to slay evil transhumanist mastermind Dr. Jadis Heskel in the streets of Neo DC. She leaves a trail of carnage throughout the huge multipath levels filled with gigantic explosions, more secret areas than we can count, and inhuman foes behind every corner. There is no regenerating health here, stop taking cover, and start running and gunning. Shelly's crusade to take down Dr. Heskel's army will see her leave destruction in her wake with a wide arsenal of weapons, complete with alternate fire modes and different ammo types. Ion Fury laughs at the idea of mandatory checkpoints and straight paths through shooting galleries. But just because this is a true old school first person shooter doesn't mean we've ignored all the good new stuff the last two decades have brought us. Headshots? Hell yeah. More physics and interactivity? You betcha. 3D Realms, Voidpoint, and 1C Entertainment have taken the best of both worlds and cooked it all into a bloody stew. Man, does that ever sound appetizing. Now, to be fair, it's really hard to knock it considering where the game draws its inspiration from. A bunch of 90s classics such as Doom, Shadow Warrior, Wolfenstein 3D, and Duke Nukem. It's all present in the DNA of this game, and it's not a bad thing by any means. I'm just letting you know that this game is not heavy on story. While the story isn't exactly the Iliad here, the game makes up for it in many other ways. Getting right into the meat and potatoes of any game, it's the gameplay. And this game certainly doesn't disappoint in that department. Ion Fury is an old school first person shooter akin to the classics Duke Nukem, Doom, and Shadow Warrior. And this was on purpose given the developer Voidpoint's history and the legendary publisher 3D Realms. And right from the get-go, it has fast-paced action with bullets flying and explosions going off like a symphony. The gunfights are engaging and a lot of fun. The weapons used range from the Loverboy revolver to the aptly innuendo named Penetrator submachine gun. One of my favorites is the bowling bomb as it clears out enemies with ease and makes you look like a badass in the process. Throughout the game, you'll come across a wide variety of enemies, from the more numerous cultists and mech sects to tougher enemies like the brutish Wendigos and the rather annoying greater cultists, who I always call tech priests given how much they resemble the figures from Warhammer 40,000. There are boss battles ranging from a gunship, a pair of brutalizers, and security mech droids. Most aren't too difficult to take on once you get the timings right, the boss fights aren't the most interesting things I've ever seen or played, but they follow with the tropes of the previously mentioned classic games. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, but just expected. Another cool aspect of the game is that it's riddled with secrets. Whether they be secret item stashes, or special homages to certain games and movies. Some can be found easily in vents, bushes, or hidden areas while others take more inquisitive approaches in order to solve. There is really a treasure trove of secrets to be found, and to me that really adds the replay value of the game. While I spoke highly of a few weapons, I'll say that I wish the game had a larger variety of weapons. The weapons present are generally fine, ranging from the Loverboy Revolver, Ion Bow, and Bowling Bombs. 
you'll be using those a lot throughout the playthrough of the game. But with only 8 weapons available, there isn't a lot of variety to be honest. I think there was a missed opportunity here as there could have been more room for crazy weapon variations. And when you think back to the likes of Duke Nukem and Doom, they had a large arsenal of crazy weapons to choose from. So yeah, just kind of a, a missed opportunity here. One big glaring issue that I have to mention is the presence of glitches in certain areas. And while I understand that no game is perfect, I did come across a few glitches during my playthrough that caused my game to crash to the Xbox home screen. One in particular instance was during my boss fight with the Revenant gunship. If you step too close to the pool on the level, on the rooftop, it caused your game to crash. I made a note of it and avoided it during my attempts, and I had no problems pro progressing otherwise. However, this is something that definitely needs to get addressed by the developers, and I hope a patch or an update comes soon for that. Now on to the look of the game, and as I stated earlier, right off the bat, you can tell that this game harkens back to the early era in shooters. The game definitely draws inspiration from titles like Shadow Warrior, Duke Nukem, Doom, Wolfenstein 3D, the list goes on really. It's interesting because back in the day, this is all we had. Game developers didn't have a lot of power to play around with and were forced to compromise in a lot of ways to make these types of games. And now with time, these styles and graphics are remembered as classical. And Ion Fury really embraces what it is inspired by, from level design, the sprites, and every bit of what makes up the world. And while it does stay simple in design, it does still manage to have nice polished details. At times, you just can't help but be compelled to take in certain levels and marvel at the backdrops of certain locations, or even the lighting and colors. Certain cityscape backgrounds generally look good while keeping with the themes of the game. On to gameplay length, and my playtime for the game ran roughly 13 hours. I was playing on the Wanton Carnage difficulty, which would be comparable to a normal setting in most games. I was also purposefully looking for secrets and hidden spots, so I was probably slower in my playthrough than most players. However, for those 13 hours though, you're given a very fulfilling throwback shooter. Moving on to the sounds of the game, and I've gotta say, Ion Fury has a killer soundtrack. It's probably one of the best things about the game. And right off the bat from the main menu, there's cool synthetic tunes, and it continues with you throughout the game. It's a soundtrack that it completely complements the gameplay of Ion Fury, and it doesn't get dull or repetitive as time goes on. It just sticks with you well after playing the game and it becomes very memorable. Shelly's character can be quite talkative. During gunfights, she'll say highly bombastic things. Often, you'll take out a few enemies and she'll make a reference to a classic game or a movie. Or you'll complete an objective and she'll just start smack talking everybody. I know how to turn you on, baby. I like the way you die. Oh, you gotta keep them separated. Are you on your knees yet? I will enjoy your demise. Get that fucking jalopy out of here. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast! I like it, but some may feel a bit put off by it. To summarize the strengths and the weaknesses of the game, I'm gonna move on to the good and the bad points. Now as far as the good goes, it has very good classic level design, it's very on point, harkening back to the old school shooters. 
It has a really killer soundtrack and the sound is gonna stay with you even after the game is done. It has some really nicely designed classic play areas. The combat, the gunplay, it's very smooth and fun. You're not gonna get bored. And it has lots of secret levels and secret areas. And just lots of secrets in general, whether it be hidden items or just little mementos harking back to old movies and games. It's just, they, they has really cool little hidden areas. Moving on to the bad side of things, and it does have some areas with multiple glitches that will cause crashing. So I hope the developers really, really look into that and iron out a patch or an update because it's kind of unacceptable in certain areas, especially in the boss fight that I had mentioned. It also has a small weapons list. It lacks a variety of uniqueness to it. Aside from a few select weapons like the bowling bomb, I just thought that the arsenal could have been, well, a bit larger. Kind of like a Duke Nukem, Doom and so on. Just have you know, slightly more variety there to choose from. And lastly, as I stated earlier in my review, it has a very simple storyline. Some may be disappointed. However, this game does go back. It's inspired by the old school shooters, and they weren't exactly what you would call Shakespeare. It's more about the gameplay, the fun, and the atmosphere, and it does really hit on those. It just, you're not gonna get much of a story here. Overall, Ion Fury is a wonderful throwback to the early days of first person shooters. While it doesn't revolutionize, it certainly pays homage to its gaming predecessors in an honorable manner. It's a thrill to play and should have you craving more by the end of it. For about $30, it's well worth the price, delivering a fun campaign as well as a few added bonuses. The gameplay is fun, the soundtrack is enjoyable and brings back the memories of a different time period in gaming history. Overall, I give this game a 9 out of 10 and I highly recommend checking this game out. So what did you guys think of Ion Fury? Are you interested in playing it? Or is this a pass? Let me know down in the comments section. Remember, if you happen to enjoy this review, then leave a like, share this out, and subscribe for future content on this channel. Until next time, guys. Invader, out.